Oh, the sound of the birds. Hey, how the devil are you doing? It's, um, let me think, what day is it? Well, if it's Mildenhall, that must mean it's Tuesday. Hey, good evening to you. It's around about, um, let's have a look, around about seven minutes to uh, seven over here in the uh, UK. And yes, of course, you were stupid and uh, moved from uh, the South Leicestershire down at uh, the Victory Show. What a great weekend that was. And uh, yesterday, especially for you guys, I uh, delayed by a day to uh, so I could get in the uh, studio and uh, bring you that live highlight show from the uh, Victory Show and also a little snippet from where we were on Saturday night when we uh, went to Western Park over near, um, going towards Telford. Yeah, not far from Wolverhampton and Cosford and yeah, brilliant, absolutely beautiful location. It was gorgeous. Trees are everywhere. Uh, trees, not trees, uh, trees everywhere and <laughs> was great. And where are we? Well, you know where we are. The uh, title gives it away. It's uh, Mildenhall and what a gorgeous day it's been down here today. The the weather as well, gosh, if you're in the UK at the moment, um, because hey, there's folks from all over the world watching this. Uh, <laughs> It's been amazing. Uh, I turned up here around about uh, 12 o'clock, I got down, and it was um, already in the low 30s. So it's been an absolute special, beautiful, beautiful day. Very, very hot. Um, I didn't go live in the uh, daytime because, to be honest, it was just a little bit too hot for bears to be uh, filming in that. But, hey, I did get the odd video shot every now and again, and I've got an absolute beautiful shot coming up for you. So I'll show you some highlights of what uh, I've taken earlier in the day. And no doubt, I'll show you some uh, video clips that are uh, exclusive to you guys because it's going to be straight off the camera, unedited and all of that. So um, it'll be the old warts and all, but uh, some clips which, um, hey, may not even make it to uh, the highlights are from the Victory Show. So that's going to be coming up just a little bit later because, um, hey, you know, we don't like looking at paint drying for too long. But uh, let's have a little bit of a mosey round and see what's going on. Let's zoom in. Well, it's pretty quiet at the moment with the Ospreys. But, hey, I am reliable, reliably informed that uh, there'll be something going out in around about um, eight or so minutes. All right. So we'll keep an eye on that. And um, there you go. I'll let you read the sign over there. There. No, only joking. If you look just behind there, you can see it. You've got great big 52-inch TVs, for goodness sake. You can see way better than I can. You can see lights flashing away on the um, Osprey over there. All right. And if I um, listen, if you listen carefully, there we go. You can see the, hear the sound of aircraft as well. But let me show you. Let's say... Uh, Zoom out just a little bit. There we go. Stupe in the field, literally. There we go. And uh, what, you know what I'm going to say, the sunsets we get down here are absolutely gorgeous. And uh, that sun is getting lower all the time. So what would be perfect is if we uh, actually get some aircraft as this, just before the sun sets. Who knows? We may be lucky. You've got to be definitely in it to win it and uh, there we go hey for the regulars you will see yeah hey the sugar beets getting longer <laughs> um what else have we got to tell you oh yes another um sort of point of interest of course it's later in the year last time i was here was um mid-july wasn't it and uh, then the sun was setting around about uh, move it along right about there behind those trees and tonight the sun should set around about where we're pointing now there's the sun should be setting around about there so we should get a beautiful shot of that and look hey goodness gracious there's a bus in a field what's that all about hey 
So why is there a bus in a field? Don't get confused. I mean, it uh, makes it look like it's literally um, in <laughs> the uh, sugar beet. But uh, I believe what they're doing, there's um, flat grass over there. And uh, I think they're going to make, don't quote me on this, but I've got a, somebody told me that they're going to make a viewing area over there and uh, use that for viewing possibly or maybe uh, making um, a cup of tea maybe um, hope it's coconut tea hope they've got the tea from the Kenton Sussex Tea and Coffee Company hey it's the only place to get your tea don't forget you guys 15% off what a deal or what check it out Kenton Sussex Tea and Coffee Company link under the video and you get 15% off and you know the score by now. Just use the code, which is AirShow, A-I-R-S-H-O-W. And it's uppercase. Right, let's have a look at the chat room. Then I'm going to show you a little bit of video from earlier today. So don't fret. Even if um, they don't come out to play too soon, you're certainly going to see some video action as well. It's going to be pre-recorded straight off the camera so is it live is it live me dog well it was live at the time but um i'm certainly live at the moment and every few minutes i'll just um go back to the um and have a word with everybody but before we do that we're going to say hi to a few folks in the chat room and we have our good friend ryan hello ryan ryan garland wonder to wonderful to see you gb model zone is saying hi guys hello my boy um, Tui125 saying hello. We have Michaela. Michaela, I haven't spoken to you for a very long time. Good to see you. <laughs> so I'm just grinning. Um, she knows. She knows. Um, Mighty52. Who else have we got? We've got Nick Collins. We've got Zyrax. We've got Jim Gemmel. Hello, Jim. Zoe Marie28. Hey, all. Been a while since I watched Airshow World. Yeah, where have you been all my life, hey? Come on, Zoe. Um, wonderful to see you, and thank you for uh, joining us this evening. Diesel13, Dickie McVitie, Clive Everly. We have a lady by the name of Julie Rotherham. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. How the devil are you, Julie? Great to see you. Dickie McVitie. Now, Dickie McVitie is somewhere over there in fact i bet with a bit of luck dickie mcvitie is going to give us a wave in just a moment come on dickie give us a wave there we go come on give us a wave there you go you see thumbs up as well you see that proves the point is uh are you live yes of course we're live that proves it okay so uh that's our good friend dickie mcvitie he's having a wander around yay the man himself <laughs> it's great great interacting with uh, that's one of the things i love about a show world it's you guys who follow a show world that's it taking off ooh, ooh, ooh. it could be a bird scarer doing that <laughs> certainly scares me at times but, uh, that's my good friend over there that's uh, dickie mcvitty i said that's what i love about these live shows it's you guys in the chat room and um, I love every one of you. You're absolutely brilliant. Thank you. Right, carrying on with the list. We've got Lee Horton. Who else have we got? Clive Everly. We have Hazel. Hello, Hazel. Lovely to see you. Thank you for putting a message in the chat room saying hiya. We have our one and only Jane. Hello, Jane Harkis. Lovely to see you as well. She says hello, everyone. Sue Lawson. A good evening to you, Sue. And uh, hey, you probably noticed by the um, the voice and all of that. Uh, I mean, last night, I've got to admit, I was absolutely shattered. <laughs> I was so tired. But um, hey, we still put together. I hope you enjoyed last night's show. If you haven't seen it yet, my goodness me, it was a... The, well, I shouldn't say that really, should I? Hey, But yeah, I should, to hell with it. There was some really beautiful video footage on there. But um, yeah, I, I didn't say that. Um, Sean Ferguson. Hello, Sean. Chris Bevin. Oh, you're going to catch me out with this one. Um, Mejana. Mejana? Is it something like... Yeah. Mej um, yeah, you know who you are. And uh, blah, blah, blah. Greetings, anyway, from Serbia. 
So thank you for putting the message in and um, sorry for um, getting your name all totally um, look wrong. Farmer Steve. Hello, Farmer Steve. How the devil are you? He doesn't talk like that at all, by the way. Um, you know, that's one thing I'm really good at. I can do all sorts of accents from all over the country. You know, I'll do your Welsh one. I'm joking. Okay. I'm useless at that. For some reason, yeah, when I do a Welsh accent, it, for some reason it turns into Cornish and then it turns into Scottish and then Welsh. You should... Sunday night, what a lark that was. Oh, goodness. We had a bit of an after-show party, if you like. Um, just Julie, Steve and Aidy. And um, the bear was getting the beers down him. And oh, dear me, what a lark, what a laugh we had. <laughs> Eventually went to bed about quarter to 12, I think. So I hope I didn't keep too many people awake in the tents. Jim Gemmell, hi you Jim, aviation kid, how the devil are you as well? And uh, I'm just going through the list at the mo, so uh, I will show you some action in just a moment. But you can understand it's a bit quiet. There's definitely aircraft powering up though, so who knows? Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, we're getting Michaela excited because um, she saw um, an A380. I got so excited. Right, Thomas David. Hello, Thomas. Thomas David says, hi, Stu. Hello there. Diesel 13. Did I mention Diesel 13 earlier? I don't know. Um, Richard Staff. Hi, Stu. What a lo what lovely weather for you at uh, Mildenhall. Oh, man. Goodness me. I shouldn't say man. Goodness me. Because we've got ladies as well. So you wouldn't say man, would you? Um, let's have a look at that sun. Wow, as you can see, that sun is setting. Come on, let's get some aircraft. Um, that's what we'd love to see. But um, you guys are going to see something in a minute, recorded earlier. Oh, by the way, when I show you in a minute, watch carefully the landing of this rivet joint, okay? Make sure, okay? Remember that. Watch carefully the landing of this rivet joint this afternoon. It was a... Well, it looked, looked pretty good when I was filming it. Anyway, you get that in just a couple of minutes when I've gone through the chat room okay we're up to Richard Staff hello Richard and who else have we got so many folks it's unbelievable Francis Barrington hi all from Yorkshire good old Yorkshire I'm not I'm not going to do a Yorkshire accent I can't do them anyway Steve C hello Steve good evening Stu and everyone watching from he's down in Basingstone Stoke. We have Martin. Hello, Martin. Hi, just tuned in for your live stream. First time I have texted you. I'm hoping for lots of action to happen. Well, you just don't know. You know, you just got to spin the wheel of fortune and you never know what you've got to going to get. Okay, we may get nothing. We may get something. Okay, we may hit the jackpot. Who knows? But you've got to be in it to win it, haven't you? So we will see what happens. JD Fisher. Hello to you. Who else have we got? A right, aviation kid. Right, talking about that A380 at Manchester. Yay. Woo. Who else have we got? Nick Can. Hello, Nick. Wonderful to see you as well. We also have Richard Staff, Paul Vickery. Um, right. Rupert. Hello, Rupert. Even says, evening all. We've had some lovely weather at Lossy Mouth today. Wow. So it looks like the whole country has had this beautiful weather. Nick Cairns watching from Ireland. Kevin Henry. Kevin Henry. The eighth. Nice to see you, my man. Okay. Night Stalker. Yeah. Do you know what? If it gets really dark here tonight, yeah, people will be thinking I'm a bit of a night um, stalker. I'll tell you. you know, it's like a... Who's that guy in the field, you know, pointing his camera at um, these um, tents and caravans down here? Because that's where we are. You know where we are. But for anybody new, I'm down at John's Field. Okay, it's the um, little campsite he's got here. And also, where Dickie McVitie is, they've got the uh, viewing area. Just pound fifty to come down here and view for the day. Park and view, pound fifty each. And um, But there's a campsite here as well. All right, okay. Are we time to uh, rock and roll for a bit? Yeah, we're going to see a bit of video. Stupid! You're going to play some video. Yeah. Okay, that's what we're going to do. A couple of highlights. Not too much film today because I've been mainly, um, you know, putting the suntan lotion on, putting my feet up, having a drink, having a giggle with a few people. But in between all of that, I filmed a couple of aeroplanes, like you would. I mainly wanted to have a bit of a down day today and, uh, you know, get. Uh, <sighs> try to get some rest but 
hey, there's no rest for bears. So I'll be keeping a closer eye on what's going on over there. Expect that to move soon. But let's have a look at a couple of shots from earlier today. And if it still stays quiet in between the sunset shots and a giggle in the uh, chat room, I'll be playing you some highlights from the uh, Victory Show as well. Some stuff you have uh, you probably never ever will see. All right, so let's hit it for the moment. I'll be back in two minutes, okay? Take two minutes to count this. Here we go, right now.
you're back live with the bear now did you notice that landing of that rivet joint if you were i told you to pay great attention when the rivet joint came up but if you didn't i'll show you again just a little bit later but boy oh boy was that bouncy or what gracious me right hey i've got um a young young man there's no need to he's not down he's always up he's fantastic he's the one and only it is, i tell you what i'm gonna let him introduce himself that's the best way so we're gonna spin the rella with the uh, camera because we are getting this beautiful sunset so if you can move just that yeah that's it so hello who have we found hi folks this is dick of it Bitty, the mad bloke off the chat room and uh, just say hi to you all if you didn't know who i was and um, so you're a great bunch of people and obviously this is our show world with the one and only stuber oh uh, you got it and i tell you what we're going to do an actual video recording now because we're going to get the main let me get a really great shot let's have a look let's see if we can get him to hmm okay mr dicker mcvitty can you stand around about a little bit closer to the camera, right? Because we're going to see if we get him in. If I end, if I end up in a ditch, I'm not going yeah, to you're going to end up in that ditch, <laughs> right? I just want to see the sun behind. That's it, yeah. right? Right. We're going to do a little piece right now. We haven't rehearsed this, honestly. No, we it's haven't rehearsed it. Just go to the um, left a little bit. My left. In amongst this big cabbage. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Right. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Okay. Let's zoom in. All right, zoom. Things I do, I don't know. Things you do. <laughs> right, you know what to say. Right, I'm. Think. Hi, folks. This is Dicky McVitie from the chat room. Yes, the mad bloke. Sorry about that. Just say you're watching our show world with the one and only Scuba. There we go. Thank you very much. There we go. We recorded. I wanted to record that and uh, we'll be putting that on. You know what we do on the live shows from the studio. We put little clips like that on and, uh, you know, we try to get the odd famous person. And uh, there's none more famous than our wonderful Dickie McVitty. Come on, let's face more it. Infamous than famous. <laughs> he's, he's well known all over the um, south of it, in, southeast of England, apparently. <laughs> I know. Well, you, you have to do something, don't you? Right. I'm going to show you some more video um, in a moment. I'm just going to. Um, there we go. That's that's the left hand side, and that's the right hand side. Right. We should be uh, coming in both ears right now. There we go. Yep. That should be working. Right. Before we um, get to a little bit more video, because. Um, they're obviously watching Airshow World and they're going, no, we're not going out to play yet. They did say, when I went live, I did hear somebody shouted across saying, hey, Stu, heard on the radio, about eight minutes, the Osprey's going to go, but hey, whatever. You know what it's like. Right, who have we got in the chat room? We have Stephen, SHGP, Virtual Aviation, in other words. Oh, look, Stu's at Mildenhall and has a sunset. Yep, I may have a sunset, but at the moment, we don't have any aircraft to bring you. But just look at that sight. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Um, we'll be back with the uh, aircraft, as I said, in just a moment, because I'm going to show you some more videos from... Uh, straight off the camera all right so you've got to bear with the bear when you see these videos because it's straight off unedited and uh, you could see anything you know um i think it's all i didn't, don't think i did anything dodgy at the uh victory show i think it was all okay but don't worry um so who have we got yes we just mentioned steve aviation kid good to see you as well let's see who else we have i saw um our good friend um james somewhere in there so a uh, good evening to uh, james how the devil are you he says hi julie did you have a nice time at um cosby now um, no she hated every minute of it i tell you you know she was with she was with the bear all the time i mean come on but uh hey i tell you what james. she <laughs> <laughs> the Germans, yeah, I, we, I love the way she says that. 
you know, that great accent. I love it. John McKenna, hey, nice to see you. Now we've got somebody from the USA somewhere. Um, I do apologize. I noticed your, oh, here we go. Connecticut Fire EMS PD response videos. I love plane spotting. I love sunsets. I tell you, me, I love them. There we go. The sun goes down. Right, but there's no one around at the moment apart from the bear and Mr. McVitty, which reminds me, I'm, I'm running out of biscuits, so uh, must get some more. Right, what have we got? Richard Staff is with us as well. Jim Gemmel. We mentioned Jamesy. That's uh, James Fennelly. That's got a ring to it, hasn't it? James Fennelly. Yeah, it reminds me of an old song. I can't think which one, though. Right. Robbie G. Hello, Robbie G. That's another. That's got a great ring to it. Um, okay, Steve Bradbury. Bradbury. John. Yeah, we mentioned John. Who else? Rupert. Hello, Rupert. It's a good job mine. Uh, I did, my name's not Rupert, isn't it? Hey, goodness gracious! Be Rupert the Bear. Who else? I think we mentioned Clive Everly earlier. Did, oh, Pierre Tor. Hello, Pierre Tor. Good to see you as well. And who have we got further down the list? Tony. Hello, Tony. Saying hi, aviation kid. A squirrel just came right next to me. Now, when you say a squirrel. Are we talking about a helicopter or are we talking about, you know, one of those um, fluffy, cute creatures that, um, you know, with fluffy tails? Do you know what? Chop the tail off and put a long sort of um, sin piece, you know, you'd be going, ah, it's a rat. But because it's got a lovely fluffy tail, you go, oh, they're so cute. Hey, I'm the same. I love them. I love all animals. I like rats as well, you know. Rats, rabbits, cats, dogs. Spiders? <laughs> no, I don't like spiders at all. Okay, Carl Thorne will be a Piotr and also Jazzy um, something, I'm not sure, it says hello. Hello, my boy. Right, if you wonder what the score is on the doors and uh, you're watching this and you think, what the hell's going on? Well, you've got Stu Bear, you know, Asher World and all of that. And uh, I'm down here at uh, Mildon Hall. At the moment, it's pretty quiet. I am, but um, I'm, I'm reliably informed we're going to get some aircraft. But don't worry, we're going to see some more video clips very soon. But I'm doing the banter at the moment because um, while we see the sun go down, you know, what's that song? Don't let the sun go down on me. Well, it will go down. Nick Kershaw. Funny story, hey? Eh? Do you remember back in the 1970s, you know, the uh, thing to wear, you know, was uh, like, used to go to the discos and stuff like that, put the old green velvet jacket on and what have you, yeah? Well, by the mid 80s, of course, that was all out, wasn't it? And this, um, I was DJing, you know, doing the kids' night and what have you. When I say kids, 17 year olds. And this lad comes up to me and he said, um, have you got any Nick Kershaw? He, sp he spoke like that, honestly. He was from Colville, you know. And um, I went, hey, I said, you got a green velvet jacket. I said, uh, I'd, I gave mine to the charity a few um, years ago. I said, um, it's not my old one, is it? I said, it hasn't got um, some white stains at the back. Or something. Um, but uh, no, it didn't. Anyway. I'm going off on one aren't I at the moment. Um, Richard Staff, Nicholas Taylor, John McKenna. I mentioned him. Okay, what we've got for you coming up right now. It's not an Osprey yet, don't worry. But uh, I am just keeping the chat going for just a little bit longer when that sun disappears. Right, we'll get back to some more video. Okay, so uh, time it down. How long is that gonna take to go down? Hey, Well, it's better than watching the paint dry, isn't it, hey? that beautiful sunset that is gorgeous but uh, shame we're not going to get an aircraft through there but for around about 15 to 20 minutes at this time of year we'll still get that beautiful orange glow if you were watching the shows back in uh, july the sunset was setting way over around about there so the difference is uh, quite Quite big. That's why, of course, it gets darker a lot earlier. Ooh, I suddenly had a bit deep voice then. Don't know what's going on there. 
Right, who have we got? We've got Hannah. I think it's Hannah. Hannah Sophie wants to say hiya. Hello, Hannah. Lovely to um, see you as well. Heather Ramsey, good evening to you. Jim Gemmell, SHGP, Aviation Kid. Barry West from the USA. Good to see you. Looking beautiful there. Well, hey, thank you very much. Uh, you can't even see me. And he says, I look. Oh, do you mean the country's. Oh, mate. Milden Hall looks beautiful at this time of the day. At any time, I tell you. There we go. There goes your sun. As soon as that um, goes down, there we go. We'll go to some more video footage for you. The 80s was the best ever, says Michaela. I love the 80s. Late 70s. Oh, God. I love soul music. So I love a bit of 60s. Northern soul. But the 80s, there were some great tunes. Big change in music as well, wasn't there? New romantics and all of that. Oh, yeah. The bear was there playing the tunes. Fantastic days. Colville Tiffany's. Don't know if anybody from that area was. Uh, but yeah, that's where the bear used to be. It was great fun. And lots of other places around there. You know the score. Right. Who else? Who else? Who else? We got Art Highland says, hello, Julie. Hey, come on. You've got to say hi to the bear as well. So if you're watching this on your um, TV, uh, whatever else, and you'd like to take part in the chat room, you know what to do. Well, you probably don't. But if you'd like to take part in the chat room and say hi to everybody, why wouldn't you? And um, all you have to do, it's really simple. Just subscribe to Airshow World and, you, and within a minute, you'll be able to, uh, for free, doesn't cost anything to subscribe, you'll be able to uh, talk amongst all these fantastic folks that I love so much. And um, Michaela, yeah, she's a, she a soul girl. I'm a soul boy, you know. Um, the, the original soul man. Um, anyway. She says, Northern Soul is amazing. Yeah, we'll have, um, we'll have to uh, yeah, have a chat about that one night. Right, let's have a look. Oh, my, that sun is going. Oh, that looks beautiful. Ooh. Can we have an aeroplane going through? There we go. So as soon as that disappears, we'll get to some more video, okay? And um, I'm going to show you some video straight from the camera from the uh, victory show from saturday sorry from sunday with that beautiful blue sky so just wait until that sun completely disappears i tell you what it's been so hot today, it would... Can you see the, um, the water in the crops in the field over there? Just turn that down a shade. Wow, I tell you what, if I'd have seen that, I'd have been half tempted to have gone over there and um, stood underneath and uh, cooled down. That would have been nice, wouldn't it, eh? Oh, not half. Yeah, could have done with that. Ooh, not half. <laughs> Hey, I normally say things like that when, um, yeah, sometimes people walk, ooh, not off. Anyway, look at that. That would have cooled you down. That's great. It's twisting around. Twisterella, look at that. Okay, we're going to spin around. The sun's gone down and I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. We, as soon as we get some movement down here, but around about every few minutes, I'll just pop in and uh, keep you posted. But they do say that he's going to move and get in the air, all right? Probably wait until it's too dark. But we're going to see some video action, okay? It's not live, obviously. It's straight from the camera. But the guy operating the machine is hopefully alive. Yeah, pinch, I'm alive. Here we go. All right, I'll be back with you for a laugh, for a chat in just a couple of minutes. Give me two minutes. Let's go for a little bit more video. Stay with a bear on Asia World. Let's go.
Hi, my name's Julia and here I am at the Victory Show. I work with the veterans and you're watching Air Show World with Stu Bear. You see, I told you I wouldn't neglect you. I'll keep coming back, having a chat. And um, because it says live from Mildred Hall, um, but um, hey, you know, sod's law and all of that, it's very quiet at the moment. Plenty of sound from the aircraft, um, but those Ospreys, on when they said they were going to leave, well, they certainly haven't yet. But hey, I've got to say a big thank you to, let's have a look, to Clive Everly. Clive you're absolutely brilliant thank you so much you put a really kind donation into their chat room right now and um thanks a lot that really means a lot that's going to go a long way to um help you know with the diesel and all that um because that thing of mine it absolutely drinks the uh, diesel but uh, you know me i never ever ask for donations but for anybody that does put one in well i love you to bits so thank you absolutely brilliant right elizabeth hello elizabeth how the devil are you you know we've not spoken to elizabeth for quite a while so elizabeth it's so great to have you on she's over there in the philippines and it's um 2 30 a.m over there and um so goodness gracious you are uh, the original night owl definitely 2 30 that's great do you know normally I get woken up around about um, one o'clock or even later. That's normally the time that the Ospreys start to come back. Um, and that will probably happen tonight. 
those Ospreys will probably take this. There is a couple already out there. At, um, let's see what's happened over there. I think those nav lights have gone off. They've folded up. So it looks like there's one of there and uh, definitely no lights on there. You see the rotors? They have been folded up. So that is not looking too promising, is it? But uh, I am certainly going to stick with it a little bit longer. And um, if um, let me know if you're enjoying the uh, video clips that uh, we keep uh, popping back to uh, show you from the direct from the camera don't forget unedited all right you're going to see some exclusives on here stuff that will uh, never normally be going out <laughs> just hope i just hope there's nothing that uh, i shouldn't show but uh, i don't th i think it's all okay um if you hear somebody i don't know saying things they shouldn't in the background and uh, <laughs> words that can't be uh, normally repeated i do apologize but uh, i think yeah i think everybody was good there's lots of children around so you know, there was lots of swearing. The kids swear more than anybody. <laughs> no, seriously, I think it's all good. I was in a brilliant spot, and um, so the sound on the, especially on the Sunday, um, and the sound was great. I always have the headphones on, making sure it's all tickety boo. Can you hear that sound? Let's go quiet. Let's go up on the right side. Your right side will get louder. Here we go. It's all right. If you've got headphones on and you're walking, you might go a little bit dizzy. Let's go up on the right. I think we're back to normal balance. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. So you can hear there's um, some C-130s powering up at the moment. Getting louder. So with a little bit of luck, they may come out to play and uh, they'll probably just take off and do what they do best and uh, do their um, job. They go out at night. it would be rather good if um, they stayed in the uh, circuit for a little while but um, let's have a look what's around here because it does look great with that sky but of course the sun has gone and it that orange glow doesn't last so long at this time of year but it still would look very nice if something came through right now But I tell you what, to quote that song by, I tell you what, I'm going to let you um, tell me who it's by. Hotter than July. That wasn't the that wasn't the name of the song. So there we go. The name of the song that goes hotter than July. And who is it by? Yeah, obviously I know. But um, let's have a look. It's hotter than July. And I tell you what, it was hotter than most of july certainly all of august gosh august was awful here in the uk didn't see any sunshine at all michaela michaela will love you so much michaela there we go thank you she's put a fantastic donation into the uh, chat room and um we love you to bits thank you so much she's obviously enjoying it so thank you we'll keep doing our best Matt Smith. Hello, Matt. How the devil are you as well? I like the icon. I love these bear icons. Julie says, Super Chat love to Michaela. Not just red hearts. She's a black heart as well. Oh, come on, Julie. You can't take part because your knowledge of music is um hey, it's even it's, it's better than mine i tell you she's see the great thing about excuse me the great thing about julie is that's why she's a really good presenter is she doesn't forget anything she's um 
she just absorbs it all, you know, and uh, remembers, which gets rather scary at times. Aviation Kid, he's a red heart and he's a black heart as well. Thank you. I'm not going to go into that song, Black Heart, by the way. Right, so what was it? We know it was Stevie Wonder. Yeah, we know that. What was the name of the song? Has anybody put it in yet? Hello, Ed. Ed Cordwell. He says, nice to meet you at the Victory Show, mate. I'm Steve's mate. Has Steve's got any for <laughs> I'll tell you what. Steve is one of the nicest guys you could ever meet. Well, Stephen is as well, you know, but um, this is Ed's, this is Ed and it's Steve's mate. So, hey, say hi. That's Steve S <laughs> SRP. <laughs> you see, that's why I said to SHGP the other day, I said, I'm going to start calling you Stephen and the other one is Steve because <laughs> I get the SH. <laughs> see, I'm doing it now. I get them both mixed up. Oh, you've got to laugh. You've got to laugh. Oh, well, she'll cry, haven't you? Carl Shield, Cloudy Hero. Carl, where the devil are you, mate? Where's Carl? Just getting my balance right. So I, I was starting to get a little bit wobbly on the feet because um, I had my sound set um, wrong and because I've got headphones on. But I, think, um, I think we're in the middle now, aren't we? Yeah. Well, some of the guys on the uh, site are starting to walk about and uh, so that they've got big cameras hanging over their shoulders so that's normally a sign that uh, there could be something taking off srh thank you very much it's every time <laughs> so, shgp that's it bang the brain locks anyway what was matt smith saying good evening to he said hi to clive hope you are <laughs> Hope you and the bus are okay. Now. Hi, hey, how are you doing? Just looking at your set tool. Ah! That's alright. Right. Old video, was it? It's, you are live right now on uh, the internet. No, don't yeah. swear, don't swear. Well, I'll tell you what, hey, listen. As you've come over, you're going to have to go in front of the camera and say hi to um, two million people. <laughs> come on, I will. All right, hey, before you come here, come here, come here, come here. Right, there's not too many, two million people I am watching, but there is quite a lot of folks. They're all here. They're all having a chat, right? And we're going out live right now on um, YouTube. All right, what? Do you, do you, on YouTube. Do, do you ever do the YouTube? Because that's how they talk around here. They go, yeah, are you going out on the YouTube? Anyway, yes. Well, I'm Stu Bear, right? Stu and. Bear. All one word. Yeah, I'm stupid. That's not the name of the channel. That's me. But can you see on the T-shirt? It's a show. You've seen the old stuff before. You've seen it. Yeah, yeah, is that you? That's me. Yeah, yeah. Are you? Yeah. Are you? But have you subscribed to a show world? No. No. What do you mean no? no but right. I will. Hey, stand in front of that camera there. Stand in, stand in front of that camera. Okay, you can hear him in the background. I'm going to zoom out, and we can see this young man. There's no need to feel. He's never down. He's got a big smiley face. We're going to turn the microphone up so we can um, hear him. Okay. What's your name, young man? Uh, Andy. I beg your pardon? Andy. Right. Andy, don't go too far with this microphone. Okay. Just hold that mic a minute and you can tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. So who are we speaking to? Uh, Andy. Yeah. And I'm from Mansfield in Nottinghamshire. Ah. Um, we're down here camping until Friday, um, and then yeah, we have to go home. <laughs> You're from Mansfield? Yeah. Well, I'm not too far away really, um, I'm from right next to East Midlands Airport, and I do lots of live streams from East Mids Airport, mm. and uh, Andy, what about this weather today? Yeah, fantastic, it is really good. Too hot, actually. Hey, 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 we hey. had this discussion earlier, I think, but yeah, it's too did. hot. Yeah, I. It was going along right, and I said to Andy here, 
I said, um, oh, it's beautiful. He said, it's too hot. I went, <laughs> good, 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 good. There was a hand going like this, right? I said, hey, whoa, it'll be, it'll be cold in a few days, you know. But it's been beautiful, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Weather's been fantastic yeah. um, all week, and I think it's planned to be all week as well till Friday. Maybe the possibility of a thunderstorm, they've said Thursday, but other than that, nice, really nice. Thank you very much, Michael Fish. Mm, you're welcome. That's, that's <laughs> Don't say there's, a, there's not a hurricane coming, honestly, no. he said. And yeah, uh, yeah there was. Um, but uh, hey, have a great time. Yeah. Make sure you, what, what are you going to do right, what are you going to do when you get back on your phone? You're going to subscribe to Asia World. Right. I've seen this shop's videos before, actually. I didn't realise it, Graham. I've just bumped into him by accident as it happens. But I've seen this stuff before and I will definitely subscribe. Thank you very, very much. And all you've got to say is, tell me your name and then say you're watching Airshow World with Stu Bear now. My name's Andy and I'm watching Airshow World with Stu Bear. That's absolutely perfect. See, I'm made for it. He's I'm made for it. it. Hey, okay. make, make sure you tell all your mates, yeah. get subscribing. I'm here with my dad and I'm mate from Liverpool. So, all right, dinner. get them to watch it. It's going out live right now. Well, can I see this later though? Afterwards? Of course you can, yeah, on a replay. Yep, yep, no see problem. Later, we'll see you later, Andy. Take care. You see, that's what it's all about. It's the friendly channel, the friendly bear. Right, I'm going to have to go back and alter the sounds again. There we go. I had to uh, take that up so we could hear Andy with the um, little, um, the little mic. Can you just excuse me just a moment while I uh, put the mic back onto the um, T-shirt? Okay, T-shirt weather. It's getting evening time and it's beautiful. Here we go. Let's put the mic back on. Ah, there we go. So I should be in both ears. Yeah, is that right? Right, I need to get back to the chat room. Ah, you're still there, everybody. t raw. He's got a big smiley face with tears coming from it. So, he, oh, he loves the channel. Thank you very, very much. Keep passing the, um, the word. That guy, he'd heard of Air Show World. He'd heard of the bear, but he hadn't subscribed. Goodness gracious. There we go. I think we've got the deep voice now. Okay, what a dude. <laughs> Lol, a new subscriber. Yeah, keep on subscribing, you know. Keep passing the word because if ever we get to 100,000, we're going to do something absolutely loopy, I tell you. <laughs> Can you hear the sound? That, I mean, it's getting closer. They're taking the time over it though, aren't they? Right, let's have a look. As you can see, we're on the campsite and there's um, big posh motorhomes here, there and everywhere and uh, lovely caravans and uh, I'm in my um, little clapped out little um, Ford van, you know, with the little, um, little put me up bed, but it'll do, you know, it'll, it'll do for me. You notice I say that with a bit of a, a grin on my face, but um, you know, I love it down here. This is GP Virtual Aviation. That's Stephen for short. He says, is John opening the uh, toilets? Um, <laughs> it's a good question, isn't it, eh? Tell you. Right, serious qu um, uh, question, and you've got a, s a serious answer coming back. Yeah, um, the toilets are now open, okay? So, when you come down here and pay your £1.50 to park and view, you can use, um, I think it's trap one he calls it that is now open so yes you can use the toilets um, the toilet okay it's getting louder isn't it Well, 
Well, hopefully in just a moment, I can't see because that um, person's motorhome that's um, just there, it's uh, blocking. Actually, you wouldn't see it anyway because there's a building there. But hopefully, very soon, there should be a C-130, should appear somewhere. Which well, sounds like it's going to anyway. I hope you don't mind this, um, you know, um, bit of waiting and what have you. Uh, but um, when it gets... <laughs> if I find out that it's not going... We're going to go back to some more stuff from the Victory Show. Um, that's if you're enjoying that, you know. Um, but um, every few minutes, I'll just pop back in. Um, but I don't want to... Um, trying to think of the word you know I, I don't want to just keep on talking and <laughs> and boring you to death but uh, hey we could we come up with stuff don't we west london transport and wildlife those c-130s are blasting my speakers yeah they've gone quite it sounds like they've gone around a building and who knows they may what a runway do you know let's have a look uh, there's hardly any wind. Uh, oh, that added to it. Let's see which um, direction the wind's... Well, it's going straight across. I mean, looking at that, looks like it's going... Well, I was going to say across the runway, but it's more going down. That would favour... Favour? One zero. I think one zero. Yes. Interesting. So if that was the case, in theory, you'd expect that C-130 to uh, appear out of the boonies around about there. We will see. What I'm going to do right now is, uh, because it's getting to that time of night where um, the light starts to fade and the midnight hour. Okay, wait, no, we're not going to be here till midnight, don't you worry. We're not going to do Thriller. What I'm going to do is just go into the settings and switch to manual focus, okay? Because this time of night with lights, what happens? It tends to go whoop, whoop, in and out. So let's get into the settings. It's the Sony AX53 camera. So hey, you've all, always wanted to know how to set these. Let's have a look. Let's go to uh, manual focus. You go menu, you go there. And down here we should see manual focus. There it is, manual, okay. Now we can go and use that and get the focus just nice. Hey, it looks like there's someone around that Osprey. And of course, if this was set to autofocus, as soon as it sees those lights, it would be going in and out like a fiddler's elbow. Aha, uh -huh. I spy an aircraft. It's a C-130. No doubt. It was taking off quite a, a way down the runway, but please stay in this too. It's a normal time. I bet if you look on your flight radars, it'll be saying something like Strix. Now, let's have a look. Almost doing a dance. Now, where is he going?
you know, I've got the sound. Hey, this is the sound of music, I tell you, to me. And the sound of aircraft. And But they're literally all over the place. <laughs> Not just those there. There's um, other aircraft powering up. So we may see some um, other Hercules. They are certainly having a bit of a trip around the base, aren't they, hey? Oh, he's going to, we're going to lose that in just a moment. So he's just, they're just going for a jolly around the base. Why not? I wish you were in the um, air flying in the circuit. Do you remember I was here in um, July and um, after around about four days of being down here, they, um, they weren't able to do um, circuits, which was a little bit frust frustrating to say the least. But that's been lifted and uh, they can do um, circuits again. Let's have a look. What time is it? It's five to eight. Goodness. Five to eight on a Tuesday evening. It's the 7th of September. And what a beauty. Honestly, I'm just here with a T-shirt and um, got the shorts on. You know, hey, you want to sit? It's a great sight, you know? So any action over by those um, Ospreys? Well, unfortunately not. But um, there's, a, there's a man moseying about, but uh, the props are down. But you never know what is lurking behind the back. You know, I've been filming here before thinking, nope, there's nothing. And then all of a sudden, from way behind, you get something. Yeah, I'm not going to say any more on that. Might dig myself a hole. Okay, let's get back to our fantastic folks in the um, chat room. We'll keep on saying hi to a few people. Just to have a look. Okay. If you're watching this on your um, TVs or anything else and uh, you think, what's going on? What's it all about? What's he doing? I'm in a field and uh, literally um, bringing you some atmosphere as it gets dusk. Well, it's gone by dusk now as it gets dark here at um, Mildenhall on what has been a beautiful, hot, hot, hot day. And um, hopefully... We will get some <laughs> aircraft action, but um, I will go back and show you some more stuff from that victory very soon. But right now, we are going to have a word with a few people. With the deep, you see, every now and again, <laughs> when the sound of the aircraft changes, the voice goes deeper. So where were we up to? Yes, we're up to Matt Smith. I think was the last one we mentioned. Kevin, hello Kevin. T-Raw, hello to you, West London Transport and Wildlife. I love saying that, that, that really does ring. Who else? Architect Design, hello. Giving us a big wave. Well, actually he's waving to Clive. Uh, thank you so much for the, hey, the donations. It's amazing. Thank you so much, really appreciate it. Love you to bits. We had such a giggle at the weekend. Honestly, fantastic crew I had. I'm not calling them crew, fantastic friends. Really, really good friends. So thank you so much. That was Steve, Stephen, Adrian, and Julie. I tell you, I loved every minute of it. And right from the very moment I first turned up on... Um, Thursday morning at the Victory Show over there at uh, Cosby in Leicestershire. Everybody was wonderful. So if any of the staff are watching this, thank you so much. They worked so hard. They really did. And um, I, th I, I don't know, but uh, I'm pretty sure, you know, the volunteers and they were brilliant. Treated us amazingly so thank you very much and especially big thanks to david on the uh, campsite 
one of the nicest guys you'll ever get to meet. Andrew Austin, hello Andrew. They're not pinging at the moment. I'll tell you what, something's pinging my legs. Do you mind not doing that? Do you know at night you get um, funny creatures, all these really wonderful, creepy qualities. Well, I'll tell you what, they're not wonderful. The little swine, get off! The little devils, they bite. I'm, um, well, you can see the, well, you saw earlier, the fit. I'm not to feel, but there's some long bits of grass and there's, ugh, get off. Actually, I don't think it's creepy crawlers. I think it's bits of um, long grass that just um, get in me uh, legs. Anyway, no problem. Angie Ward, hello Angie. Who else have we got? Nick Can, yeah, we mentioned it. David Edwards. I can hear something. And it's coming towards us. And it's one of those hooks. Here we go. Let's go back quickly to get that the next one. Just love the skies you get down here. Look at this, that is beautiful. It really is gorgeous. I mean, I'm seeing this with my own eyes and uh, you're getting this, I suppose, second best, but to be here, this looks, ah, oh, it's wonderful. Let's have a look, see what these um, C-130s are doing as it goes by that star. Somebody would say, it's a planet. We'll say, it's Venus or Mercury or Mars. Ooh, talking of which, getting a bit peckish. So I'll keep a close eye on those and um, I bet they're going off to do what they do, but um, we'll find out. It'd be really um, nice if they um, stay in the circuit for a little while because the light is still just about right. It's um, even better if the Ospreys went up and did a few circuits with those fantastic green glows, but who knows? Marjolein says, nice shot, thank you. Stephen Billings says, yeah, well, definitely, you can hear them. Absolutely deafening me as well. Walk about, Richard. What does he say? That drone of a sound at two in the morning is, a, is lovely, honest. Yeah. Hey. I tell you what, I love it as well. When they come back, they're going to be late coming back, so it'll rattle the pots and pans in the uh, little um, in the little van. Piotr, 
Always good to see Peter Tor, Andrew Austin, David Edwards. David Edwards hasn't had a mention yet, so we're going to give him a very special mention. David Edwards, how the devil are you, my man? Kevin. You are outstanding in your field. <laughs> yeah, I am out. I'm, I am. I'm outside. More like, um, I don't know about outstanding, more like sitting. <laughs> hey, thank you very much. That's a really nice comment. Thank you there, Kevin. I'll tell you what is outstanding. All my fantastic followers on Asia World. Thank you so much, everybody. It's um, quite over... It's quite overwhelming sometimes, so thank you. As you see where I point the camera in that direction, it's much darker over there, isn't it? We'll keep it, the stream going for a little bit longer. If that's, if that's okay with you in the chat, um, I'll keep it going a little bit longer. Now then, did you all see, I, I know people come and go, did you see earlier when I played that shot of that um, sea, sorry, of that rivet joint? I'll replay that for you, okay, in just a moment. If you missed it earlier, watch carefully, okay? It's definitely worth showing again. So Julie, watch carefully and everybody else. I will show that in just a moment. Hey, Michaela. I love the bear. Well, the bear you've just put on. Listen to that. Sounds wow. That's brilliant. Okay, bubble. What can we tell you? Check out on Facebook the fan page is called it's the Airshow World fan page. Okay? So um pop across and um knock on the door and I'll tell you what, we'll let you in as soon as possible. Alright? In fact, Julie will let you in straight away. She's like that. She's good. She's brilliant. There's quite a you probably on Facebook, there's quite a few things that mention Asia World. There's one called Asia World Videos. There's one called Asia World Page. And of course, there's the um, Asia World fan page. But it's not a page at all. What it is, it's an actual group where you can have a chat, you can uh, post photographs. Doesn't always have to be about aviation. It could be whatever you want, all right? So certainly take part, it's great fun and um, a fantastic community. And last time I looked, remember, I've been pretty busy just recently, but last time I looked, it was very nearly a thousand folks, which is, un un let me get it right, unbelievable because it's not been going long. Bandit 99, hi, and guess what? They stayed in the circuit. And we have another one just appearing from the darkness. that amazing sky again look at that
you know I should go a lot look at that that is wonderful get off my legs JD Fisher yes I am um, somebody sent that to me and um, the remote control Concord and said hey Stu can you um, share this for me because they don't do um, Facebook on the uh, just a moment turn that up a little bit on the fan page I said yeah no problem no problem and uh, yeah it's rather cool isn't it JD Fisher so um, I can't remember who um, alerted me to it, but thank you very much. Nick Cam. Hey, that sun's the sky. Well, the sunset was great, but the sky now is absolutely awesome. Right. I said about five minutes ago, didn't I? Okay, listen. Watch this video clip very, very closely. Okay? Watch it very closely. It's the rivet joint. Just watch the landing. Here we go. I'll be back with you in a second. Watch this. There we go. So I thought I'd replay that for you because I know um, some people, they come, they go. You make a brew, you make a cup of tea. And uh, so obviously you miss the um, odd little bit. And uh, goodness gracious, I tell you, when I um, filmed that, my heart was in my mouth. I tell you, as I was filming it, I was going, <gasps> no, I don't. I don't know much about these things, but uh, you don't see many landings like that. That was just like, whoa, especially on the daylight today. Um, it was like, filming it, actually, at the time, I was like, oh, my Lord. I hope it's okay. But, um, yeah, it was all good. Stuart Bridges says, hello, Asia world. Hello, Stuart. Nice to see you. And... Um, don't forget, if you're watching this on um, any platform and um, you'd like to take part in the uh, chat room, it would be absolutely fantastic to um, even just to say hi. Uh, if you'd just like me to say hello to anybody, um, like, um, you know, I don't know if you want me to say hi to you, um, your granny or your whoever. <laughs> no, seriously, if you want me to say hi to anybody, please put a message into the uh, chat room. And if I see it, I'll uh, certainly do my very best to say hello, how the devil are you? It's quite funny sometimes, somebody's been watching this and uh, they've done a bit of a sneaky. They've sort of put a, 
a message without um, whoever it is they wanted a message for. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, the TV has suddenly said, um, oh, hello to whatever this lady's name was. <laughs> it was like, the TV, ah, the TV is talking to me. <laughs> so if you want me to do something similar, I'm more than happy to do that. Right, Darren M. Hello, everyone. Bulldog 617 Squadron. Chris is with us. Is with us. And there we go. Somebody's asking to join Asia World fan page all right now. Just had an alert. So there you go, Julie. They're knocking on the door. Let them in. That's gone quiet. Can you hear that? Elvis is in the chat room. Hello, Elvis. Nice to see you. Elvis is down there in uh, Southampton. Oh, but it's been beautiful down there by the sea. You know, do you know what? Oh, I'd, I'd love that today. You know, put my feet in the um, sea to cool down. The only way I could cool down today was to put my feet in um, a bowl of water. <gasps> you know, I mean, it was... Um, <laughs> Kevin, what do you like? It was... <laughs> I think he's referring to that rivet joint. Um, it was lovely cold water to start off with, but I'll tell you what, it heated up in no time. Uh, but anyway, yes. Julie was saying the other day, she said, no, I've got to stay at the campsite for a bit. It's too hot for the moment. I'm going to have to put my feet in some water, cool them down. I'll tell you what, it's a good way to cool down. So if it's hot, oh, can you hear that? You can hear the birds now. Andrew Herbert, hello. Throw something. Hey, from New Orleans. My house is ruined. Hey, good to see you. Thank you for putting the message in. And it's great to know we're going out all over the world. It's absolutely fantastic. I think Elizabeth must be fast asleep by now because uh, it must be about 3.30 where she is. So, um, hey, Elizabeth, she can't be with us now. Strike Eagle 492. Thank you very much for your message. It's a comeback sent rather than a rivet joint. It's likely to be flying. Is it likely to be flying tomorrow? I've no idea. Quite often, right? It'll go up very, very early, around about, um, say, eight, five o'clock in the morning and stay out all day. So Elvis says it's been hot. And I've been digging in the community gardens as a volunteer manager and volunteer coordinator for the garden. Oh, that is lovely. Well, hey, you see, my hat goes off to you. It's wonderful that um, for people to do that, making Southampton look beautiful. Well done, my boy. That's good of you. I'd have been on the beach, getting my feet in that water. There's a great term. Um, um, gosh, what's near there? Is it, is it cowl shot? Well, it's, it ring, rings a bell. I was cycling near there one time, and I'm sure it was cowl shot. And um, I saw this number plate, and um, it, the number plate was JYS1. And um, I'm pretty sure that must have been Jackie Stewart's. JYS1. It was in the days when you couldn't look things like that up. Nowadays, you can find out everything from the internet. But it was a real posh, beautiful, beautiful house I went by. Can you hear the birds? And I'm sure I can hear a Hercules coming towards us. Oh, I've gone really deep. Here we go. I'm sure I can hear something coming towards us. Oh, I tell you, this, the wind, well, there's hardly any wind at all. I'm just going to go down on the mics because um, I've gone a bit deep now. The uh, sound has uh, dropped.
from those uh, hooks. There we go. I think the uh, microphones, the settings actually in the camera, they've probably gone to auto, which is really, really annoying. I keep putting it on manual, then it goes back to auto. Or too low that side. Right, I think we're level. Right, it's all right. Ignore what I'm saying. I'm just um, going off on one. So I thought I saw lights in the sky heading towards me. It's probably aliens. Andy James! Uh, just washed my keyboard inside of something or other. I just lost his message. Hold on, what's he saying? I'll try to find it again in a minute. It's uh, just... Uh, Just rewound to check out the landing. Wow, even my heart was in my mouth. Nice to see you back. Honestly, when I was filming that, it was... <gasps> <laughs> look shocked, Rod Rodney. <laughs> no, look shot shocked at Rodney when he walks in the room. Did you ever see that clip on Only if it was in horses? <laughs> Uncle Albert, he kept going... <gasps> not yet, not yet. <gasps> If you've never seen that clip, you won't understand what I'm talking about. Andrew Austin, Stu, can I ask you a question? Oh, I guess so, you know, as um, long as it's not, uh, can I borrow some money? Uh, anyway, what is the electrical voltage charge? What is the electrical voltage charge? Is it 240 volts for what? Two forty volts for what? For the camera? Are we talking, or um, just elaborate a little bit more on that for me? And um, whatever question you're asking, okay? Stephen Billings, ah, oh, the C130 is in a stone market. All right, Stu, can you navigate by the? St <laughs> Stu can navigate by the stop. Yeah, mm, there's stars out there. Y you can navigate by the stars, so they say. You know, the things like. Um, the bear. So right, another episode of Only Fools and Horses. We're having a laugh about that to the night. Ooh, Concord. Right, where were we? So I'm looking for Andrew Austin. No doubt he'll uh, reply again in a minute. But what I'm going to do while it's gone a little bit quiet and my voice gets um, a little bit deeper. <laughs> Andy James, so he he's he's on the right wavelength. He knows what I'm talking about. He's even got a pussy card for his icon. So Andy James, yeah, he knows. Don't forget Rodney when he walks in. You've got to. <gasps> Hi, right, Clive Everly. Thank you very much for all your support. It's so much appreciated, and also to everybody else. Thank you. It's really, you're amazing. Okay, hey, listen, as soon as we get some more action, I will hit the live button, but it's getting so dark here, we probably won't be able to get much more. But before we close down for the evening, okay, um, I'm going to tell you a story. Now, I'll do that later, okay? What we're going to do for the moment, we're going to go back to the weekend back to sunday with those blue skies those fantastic warbirds and everything and i'm not talking about the ladies those beautiful aircraft from the victory show don't forget this is straight off the camera unedited or anything else all right so what's an all time Ooh, look at your hands what's an all time okay so i'll be back with you in just a couple of minutes Think of it as a bit of an ad break, okay? Think of it as a break from the bear. And that's not a bad thing. Okay, back with you very, very soon.
<laughs> Somebody's laughing in the background. Hey, as if by magic, the bear is back with you. And uh, you were just watching some, um, I can't call them highlights because they're um, the wrong color for my hair. Um, I can't call them highlights because they've not been edited or whatever, but that was from the Victory Show. I always go to say air show. Well, it was an air show as well, but it was much, much more than that. It was the fantastic victory show over there, just south of Leicester. And, uh, you know, famous for Shawadi Wadi and Engelbert Humperdinck. And, um, seriously, just south of Leicester, a place called, a beautiful little village called Cosby. And um, amazing place. And uh, it's uh, Stephen and uh, well, Stephen Pepper, Stephen and Natalie Pepper. They actually, uh, they're the main organizers of it. And uh, it's in the, their farm. It's, uh, you know, a, literally a farmer's field. And that's where they have this brilliant uh, air show. You saw the landing strip. And uh, also there's, there's lots of other fields and they have the reenactment. And if you joined us last night for the um, show, you'd have seen a lot more and that was a few highlights from it but from the camera boy oh boy i've got so much video footage and also i've got video footage coming from um, my friends as well coming from stephen coming from julie and uh, also steve is going to send some photographs across as well so uh, we've got a lot of video footage i've got so much video footage on the, the camera but don't forget what you um going to be seeing over the next few days in between the quiet spots of doing the filming is going to be straight off the camera unedited all right so just um just uh bear with that um sort of uh point you know when you see like um any you know fuzzy bits or out of focus it's not been um edited but um from what i was looking at it looked it looked okay it looked all right i was just um having um a beer with a couple of friends while that was actually on. But hey, I was still looking at, oh, oh yes, I was still looking, tall, tall I was. I was, still, <laughs> I was still looking at the chat room and uh, looking at the fantastic comments. And you, everybody, you make me smile. Okay, walk up, walk about Richard. A show, UFO show, you never know. You never know what's gonna go by, yeah. Ooh, look at the sky, I tell you, it's, um, I don't think the video camera will pick up. Um, you never know. But, <coughs> oof, did you hear that crack? Uh, I don't, don't think it'll pick up um, stars and things like that. But, um, it'll pick up some pretty lights over there. Look at that. That's so pretty. But, um, there's a tree there. Oh, yes, it does pick up the stars. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Shame the moon's not out. There we go. Anyway. That's just me messing about. Right, so let's have a look at the chat room. Uh, I'm going to wrap... <laughs> Excuse me. Do you know what? <coughs> oh, that's better. Um, I haven't had anything to eat tonight, so yeah, better get something pretty soon. Right, let's go through the chat room one last time and uh, so I can go and get another beer because I'm going to go offline fairly soon. I've got to thank everybody that's been with us um, this evening thank you so much love you so much everybody and thank you for the wonderful comments thank you very much for the um, donations that you guys have put in amazing so thank you thank you thank you thank you right before we go just checking and scrolling through to see if i've missed anybody all right oh um babe what's this bava ringer tigger i don't know seven but they say hello we mentioned Andy James. Oh dear, <laughs> he said. Uh, Andy James says, um, just washed my keyboard um, in, after a mishap with a mug of coffee. Uh huh. Hey, was it the Kent and Sussex Tea and Coffee Company? Don't forget, Stu Bear's sponsor. And get 15% off the best tea and coffee in the world absolutely so check it out if you want the link to it it's under this video right now look at that click on it it'll take you to their website and you can order your 
best tea and coffee you've ever had. And I'll tell you what, we're getting some great comments from um, folks about um, how nice and how much they're enjoying the tea and coffee. So get it ordered right now. How do you get 15% off? It's uppercase. The code is Airshow. A-I-R-S-H-O-W. All uppercase. Plain crazy. Um, has been with us. All right. Jim Gemmell. Last look through the chat room before the bear gets out of here because it's very dark here now. Goodness knows how I'm going to get this all packed up. But I will try. We have Walkabout Richard. Yeah, we mentioned him. Nick Can. Donald Roger Palmer. Hello, you lovely people. There we go. The Chip Man. I like the... Hey, do you know what I could do with some chips? Um, you're not named Milden the whole, are you? Hey, I could do with some. Right, who else have we got? Pierre Tor, yeah, he's with us. Jim Gamble, playing crazy. We have Kevin. Hello, Kevin. Well, Stu, beware the bugs. Yeah, little <laughs> devils, aren't they? Yeah, Teresa, um, the boss of uh, Show World, she got bitten. And, um, oh, really nasty. You know, <sighs> wow, her... It's only just started clearing up. I've got strawberries and ice cream. It's warm in Nottingham. That's Andrew Herbert. Oh, my man. I love strawberries. You can't beat strawberries, can you? Code, ooh, a code for the Kent and Sussex Tea and Coffee Company is a show. That's it. Use that at the checkout. And also, don't forget, you get reward points. So the more you buy, the more um, of these points you get. Plus the 15% off. Hey, tell you what, they'll be giving it to you next. Right, good stream, thank you. That's right, Thomas, that's Thomas David. You know, I'd expect to see David Thomas, but hey, Thomas David, ooh, he's got a train on that icon. Nice one. Hey, I tell you what, on Friday night's show, don't forget, I do a, um, every Friday night, I do um, a show, studio show normally, okay? This Friday, um, because I don't know if I'm going to be live or not. I'm going to be live, hopefully. But uh, I don't know if we're going to be live. So I've got a pre-recorded show going out on Friday night at 7 o'clock. OK, but it's a mixture of all sorts of things this week. And you may even see some steam trains on it. So watch carefully on that one. Plain Crazy says another brilliant show. Well, do you know what? I'm sorry I couldn't have brought you uh, more live aircraft. We saw a couple of um, C-130s taking off, flying round and stuff like that a couple of times. Um, but I'll guarantee when I go offline, the... Um, Ospreys will probably power up, but of course it's uh, just too dark now. If they do go through and we see that fantastic green glow that you get from those props, I'll probably film it for you and show you um, probably tomorrow, all right? So in the daytime, what I'll do, um, if we get some action down here, I'll probably record those and uh, do a live show later in the day. Or, yeah, or if it's mega busy, I might just hit the live um, in the daytime hello to sarah hello sarah lovely to see you so that message hey sarah i hope you're listening to what i was just saying so probably in the daytime i'll may go live again if not tell you what we'll do it all again tomorrow night at seven o'clock british summer time hey we can say that for about another six weeks can't we but i'll tell you what summer time it certainly feels that way at the moment it's been over 30 degrees down here at uh, Mildred Hall today. Beautiful, beautiful weather after the most awful August we've had in the uh, UK. The weather has been absolutely awful. But thank you so much. Oh, somebody was talking about football. Was that, did that come up then? I don't know. Anyway, oh, who to win tomorrow and what results? Poland versus or England? It's, oh, yeah, it's, I don't know if the, I know nothing about football whatsoever. But um, I like a bit of motor racing. That's uh, great news, though, hey, about um, jo um, George Russell. Is it George Russell? Yes, it is. Um, yep, yeah, he's been confirmed. He's the uh, Mercedes driver with Lewis Hamilton next year fantastic which i'm not if you saw the grand prix on sunday which i'm not surprised um bottas has had his bottas <laughs> kicked after um sunday yes um great team player not 
on uh, Sunday's race. Julie was, uh, Julie, <laughs> July was awful here. August um, was so-so, that's Kevin. Kevin, where about to you, my boy? Um, he, if you put the message in quick enough, I'll f um, let everybody know where he is. Oh, happy birthday, Sarah. Have a truly wonderful day tomorrow. It's her birthday tomorrow. So, Sarah, many happy returns for tomorrow, just in case we don't catch you. But I will be live um, sometime tomorrow. All right, hope that's not the kiss of death and uh, we <laughs> something goes wrong. But, um, yeah, I'll do my very best to bring you a show tomorrow night right here. And if it's quiet, you know, in, in the quiet bits, we'll see some more great video footage from the Vic show but for tonight thank you so much everybody for joining us and um, the wonderful folks in the chat room love you to bits and to everybody else if you've never subscribed to Airshow World make sure you do all right and uh, hit on the bell icon and you'll know the moment the bear goes live right here on Airshow World Kevin says uh, is from northern usa nh usa thank you very much there's Ke there kevin right see you always think that uh, he in the usa it's beautiful in the summer but um yeah not so good july was parts of july was okay last time i was here was july the 20th and um, doing and also we took in the uh air show at duxford yeah, that's a point. Yeah, I can play some of that as well. So all sorts of stuff. Great stream. See you next time. That's Andrew. Thank you, Andrew. Nick can. Nick can do what? Oh, Nick can go to Alton Park. That's... I know somebody else going to Alton Park on Friday. But it all sounds pretty quiet, doesn't it? Listen, I've got to go very quiet for a minute. Just before I do go. Right, I keep hearing crickets. Let's see if we can hear Buddy Holly. Here we go. Well, I keep hearing something. Oh, that's it. We're in both ears now. Right, we will see you all soon. A potluck with Mildenhall. Good job, Stu. As a backup of video. Yeah, we've, we, I, you know, I'll, I won't let you down, you know. I'll always bring you something. We'll always have a laugh, and that's what it's all about. Asia World, having a bit of fun. We never take it too seriously. All right, we're going to get out of here. I'm going to get something to eat. I'm going to put my feet up. I'm going to have some uh, beers and go through the chat room, see if there's anything I've missed. Until tomorrow at around about any time. <laughs> we'll see you then. Thank you so much, everybody. Have yourself a fantastic rest of your Tuesday, and I'll see you sometime tomorrow. Big salute to everybody. Good night from Stu Bear. Thank you to Julie in the chat room, and thank you especially to you for watching Asia World and supporting from Mildenhall, live with the bear. See you tomorrow. Good night.